Now an update from the ABC 7 News I team. Today, an Italian appeals court reduced the life sentences for two Northern California college students convicted of murdering a police officer. This happened while they were on vacation in Rome in July of 2019. Their families were hoping for an all out acquittal. I team reporter Dan Noyes was on this case from the start and he's back with exclusive interviews with the defendant's parents. Dan, what did they tell you? Well, Karina, I spoke with each of the parents of the two young men. They were hoping for a better outcome come and are bracing themselves for the next step in this legal process. Finnegan Elder of San Francisco addressed the appeals court today for the first time in the Italian he has learned while in prison. He apologized to the widow of Deputy Brigadier Mario Cicciolo Rega and said, the only thing I want to clarify once more is that in the few moments in which we were approached by those who today I know are two carabinieri, in no way could I understand that they could be members of the police. Jocella Rega and his partner were wearing street clothes, no gun, badge or handcuffs when they approached the Americans after three in the morning about a backpack stolen from a drug dealer. Evidence shows that Jocella Rega had Elder pinned to the ground and that the Americans stabbed the officer 11 times. Today, the court reduced Finn Elder's life sentence to 24 years. I spoke with his mother at their home in San Francisco. I just honestly live in this perpetual state of just <sighs> sadness and kind of heartbreak. And sometimes I don't know that my heart can break anymore. But this morning, I think the finality of any sort of number that has, you know, those kind of 24 years associated with it, it's just crushing. You I were hoping for him to get out or to be acquitted? I think the facts are there to show that um, there were other parties responsible for a lot of the events that evening. Leah Elder showed me a list of what she said were 53 lies told by Chuchella Rega's partner, Andrea Variale, about what happened that night. And that equals a witness that should not be credible. Her husband echoed that outside the courthouse in Rome. My son has been nothing but honest throughout told everyone exactly what happened. This man has lied his way through and found it. He is the answer. He is the answer. He's a man of faith who believes in confession. Yes, yes, no, I think so. He's a liar. He's a liar. Marin's Gabriel Natale Yort had his sentence reduced to 22 years. He struggled with Variale and then ran away. 22 years is, is still makes me very sad for him. I spoke with his mother from her home in Sonoma. He arrived unarmed. He did not hurt anyone, did not kill anyone, and he ran away before he knew anything about what happened. The Italian police officer's widow spoke after the verdict. They'd been married just the month before his death. Rosa Maria Isilio said the sacrifice of my husband Mario must not be forgotten. He was a state servant, and it is everybody's duty, not only of his family, to remember it. His blood will eternally remain on the ground of that street. Now, both families pledge to take this to Italy's highest court, and that process is expected to take until next year. In the meantime, both young men could get time shaved off their sentences for good behavior. I'm posting more on the family's responses, their written responses, at abc7news.com. For the I-Team, Dan Noyes, ABC7 News. Karina, back to you. All right, Dan, thank you. We'll continue to tune in to that. And Dan traveled to Rome to cover the story when it broke, and he put together a documentary about the case, the Emmy Award winning 32 seconds a deadly night in Rome is available on our ABC 7 Bay Area streaming TV app just scroll down to the shows section to stream it on demand